ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. And our tour of Austin, Texas wraps up with the world famous Terry Black's Barbecue. Now, every signature restaurant has a reason why we go there. One of the reasons we stopped here was the Big Beef Rib. We're going to highlight that during this segment. They come really big, along with sausage and the world's famous brisket, which they wrap up and smoke almost all night long, starting sometimes at 2 o'clock in the morning. That just really tops off their meat selections. So if you're in the city of Austin, Texas, you know where to go. We had the other segments, and now we're going to mention this one. This is Terry Black's Barbecue, Austin, Texas. You cannot leave the city without checking out what they have to offer. involving large estates with complex property issues. We also represent clients in enforcement and modification cases, as well as adoptions. Our spacious offices provide the perfect, calm environment to resolve your family law dispute through mediation or collaborative law. This is Falfor and Brillo, a couple of our divorce therapy dogs. They are rescues and we believe they are entitled to a second chance at happiness just as our clients are. Hi, I'm Donna Smith. Whether you're going through a divorce or a custody battle, my staff can help you move forward in this most difficult time of your life to your new reality. Well, if you're wondering what these guys are up to, well, let me tell you. At Terry Black's Barbecue, we had to talk to the people behind the counter. They were telling us some crazy things, and I'm not going to share our conversation. It doesn't really matter. You know why? Because we all had the same thing in common, and that is the great barbecue that this place serves. They're really known for their brisket, but look up front. You see those really big beef ribs. Hopefully, I will show you later on in this segment a picture of how big they are. These things are bigger than a cell phone. Yeah, that one right there on the right is as big as my cell phone. I could not believe the portions that you get here. And as they're prepping our plate, it just got bigger and better. We got full, we had fun, everything was cooked to perfection. That being said, sit back and stay tuned. Two contested cases involving large estates with complex property issues. We also represent clients in enforcement and modification cases, as well as adoptions. Our spacious offices provide the perfect, calm environment to resolve your family law dispute through mediation or collaborative law. This is Falfor and Brillo, a couple of our divorce therapy dogs. They are rescues and we believe they are entitled to a second chance at happiness just as our clients are. Hi, I'm Donna Smith. Whether you're going through a divorce or a custody battle, my staff can help you move forward in this most difficult time of your life to your new reality.
If you need a DJ in a DFW area, you can check out TLT Entertainment. Also, if you want to hear me on radio, that's right, your host, your friend, DJ Rick, check me out at Fishbowl Radio Network, fbrn.us, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Check out my show, hear me live, call in and have some fun. I'm always at Fishbowl Radio Network. Check me out. Ladies and gentlemen and family and friends, we are still in Austin, Texas, and I promised you guys we'd come down 35 and find some of the best barbecue in this state. And the state's got 20 million people. We're bigger than most countries in Europe, but they don't have our barbecue and they don't have our culture. I'm here at Terry Black's Barbecue, and we have had ourselves a feast. It's kind of hard to get up out the table, and I think the treadmill will be calling my name. It was fun putting it on. I'm going to take my time taking it off because the food was that good. I'm sitting there talking to a gentleman who, who's hooked us up all day long, and your name is, sir? Michael Mitchell. Michael Mitchell, let me ask you this. What in the world made you come work at a restaurant like this? Well, I've been around barbecue my whole life. Uh, it seemed like a perfect opportunity for my skill set and what I like to do. We heard something earlier, and I know most people don't understand, but to get the flavor you have, to get the meat the way it's supposed to be, to get the people to come and eat in the restaurant, you guys almost have like a 24-hour operation. I mean, we keep do. Yeah. we essentially do. To keep the pits going and what you do with the wood and all that stuff, people come here at three o'clock in the morning to get these fires rolling. Actually, we have uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. We have a guy that comes in at 11 p.m. Um, so this is where the 24 hours comes into play. We actually are here 24 hours, four days a week. So he'll come in at 11, get things started, get some of the, the ribs and all that out of the way, because our brisket cooks are so large that we need the pit space. And that way he'll get some of the day of stuff out of the way so we can get the briskets on for the next day. That, that's amazing. They, they cook ahead of time, and I'm pretty sure they do well. With the people coming in as we've been in here, we caught you on a little slow period, and we turned around, and then the floodgates opened. It's Friday, 6 o'clock, and everybody's like, we're getting off. We're going to have ourselves some of that wonderful Texas barbecue, and I can't say that I blame them. The wood that you guys use for your food, what kind of wood is it? Uh, it's post oak. Uh, it's plentiful in central Texas. Um, we have a couple of different guys that cut for us. We have a storage lot in Lockhart where we keep about 100 cords at all times. We, we try and age the wood for a minimum six months before we bring it out. And every now and then, if you know wood, you can tell some of the wood behind me is pretty green. Uh, we don't like to get the green stuff because it, it burns a little. It, 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 it's a little more difficult to work with. Uh, but usually our, our wood's a little bit more aged, and uh, that lot is that's the reason we have that lot, so we can age that wood. Amazing. It's, it's amazing. And it's plentiful in this area. A lot of people who don't know Texas, they talk about post oak, they talk about mesquite and other forms of, of wood that we use, and it, it does really, you know, match the flavor of the barbecue. The gentleman that gave us the ribs earlier, he literally took them out of some foil, and those ribs were swimming in the, the good sauces and juices. I mean, that's called Drool TV. Of all the barbecue places that we have done in last season and this season, we've seen people that use foil to whatever degree they use. What makes them so juicy and tender? Because those ribs literally, they were swimming in their own juices, which I think is great. I think it's just the process we use. Uh, we cook low, we cook slow. We're not, we take our time to make sure we don't dry it out. Uh, we store it at you know, temperatures that are good for the meat. We're not, we're not keeping it in a 250 degree oven. Uh, we don't boil our ribs. We, we do a traditional barbecue. And uh, our cooks pay attention to the, to the details and we end up with a superior product. Well, I'll tell you what, we've had a great time here. We're looking forward to coming back again because, I mean, Austin is like one of my favorite cities. I just wish you guys were closer, and I've been saying it on this whole tour. Austin needs to be closer to Fort Worth or Fort, you know, whatever it is. I would like to get in the car and be here in 30 minutes opposed to two hours and 30 minutes. It's not going to happen until they build that super little speedway thing. Then I might come every weekend. But <laughs> um, lastly, what would be, as we say, some places have a signature dish or what people get a lot of all the time. What is the top seller? Because everything here is good, it's hard to choose, but what sticks out when a lot of people come to Black's and they say we want whatever dish that is famous or what they like the most? Well, the top seller is the brisket by far, uh, but as far as having a signature dish, a lot of people come out for the beef rib. Uh, it's, it's the big, short, it's the plate short rib, it's huge. Uh, some places do it, but they don't do it. They don't do as many as we do and they sell out. I'll have beef ribs from open to close most days of the week, and we do them seven days a week, whereas a lot of the other guys might only do it on Saturday, might only do it 
you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but we do them seven days a week, and, and people come for them. That beef rib was almost as big as a newborn. I'm not kidding you. I've never had a rib that big. I compared it to my hand. I sent a picture on Facebook to the, you know, the page. That is one big meaty rib. That itself is a meal. And for those out there, if you love beef ribs, this is where you need to be. I'm telling you, one is going to be enough. You may get away with two. If you eat all three, talk to me. We'll put you on the show because you have set a record. Lots of meat, lots of tender meat. It comes apart with the plastic fork. That's how tender the meat is. So we want to thank you guys for having us here. We appreciate the invitation. We want to come back and just do a follow-up and or tell our friends about this on the TV show, on the radio, and on our Facebook, and on all the other forms that we use. So we will see you guys again next time. Check it out. This is Terry Black's Barbecue in the heart of South Austin. You guys need to come bring your family and bring your friends. We will see you next time. Thank you very much.